welcome. We're going to discuss ADHD topics that don't work. Okay, but like, wait, really? Yes, we are, except sort of, because nothing is universal. I'm sure there are plenty of coaches out there who would say, oh, but that worked, blah, 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 blah. Awesome for those people. This is just our experience, the two of us. Uh, and in fact, one of these items on the list, we a colleague of ours does as one yeah. of her options. So this is just us and our personal experience. I think that there are at least a couple on this list that many coaches would say, oh yeah, that's kind of, you know, that that's a different area. But this is just us. And a lot of these are topics that, uh, especially the one around tips and tricks, that like a good coach, okay, I do it frequently at least. I don't know. It doesn't turn me off as much as it does some people, but are looking for like tips and tricks to do something. But um, but we can turn that into a coaching topic. So don't, don't worry about bringing these. If they're not, just adjust your expectations. Bring what you actually have and actually need to a coaching session always. Yes. And yes. let us know what that is, but adjust your expectations. Because I can rattle off tips, but they are not customized to you at all. You might as well have just Googled for them. And so, like, or, or read a blog post or something. Whereas, so what I might say is, hey, let's dig in. Talk to me about what's really going on with this. What's, yep. what's the thing you're really hoping to accomplish by doing it? You know, what's, yep. you know, what's actually really in your way? And we'll try to dig it down and then apply some tips, perhaps. What we want to do is help you get past the problem. Don't overthink phrasing it, but um, but don't be disappointed if that's not what you walked away with because we're trying to yep. give you more than you would get from a Google search. Absolutely. Um, and, and similar uh, to that, m my policy for my clients is bring me literally anything. Say yeah. anything you want in the session. And if it's a certain category of stuff, I may say, so therapist thought. And then coaching around hiring a therapist is eminently a functional topic, which I do all the time. Yeah, I was just talking to somebody about it yesterday who's been, it's been on their list for a while. And and I was like, but we can coach on it. Like, I get that like yes. you don't want to take that particular gripe to me. Here's my generic advice. But if you want to have like taking a step to be like an, a task I ask you about each week, great. Because mm -hmm. um, we're all about that. Can I can I say my my uh, favorite one first? Absolutely. Um, nothing is actually the worst topic to bring, and I get uh. it. Like not every week, everyone has something. It's fine, mm -hmm. but you again have to adjust your expectations. When there's not a topic, we are less likely to be able to do what you want and need. Because we're gonna have to spend longer, some of that time right? coming up with it. Yeah. Yeah. Like, like I, I'm sure uh, myself and Brittany are totally happy to uh, to support somebody in finding a, a topic, but it will take a part of the session more yeah. so if it is nothing that you originally brought. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And 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 to be clear, I get them every week, multiple every week. Absolutely. But any Thanks. amount of like mindful thinking you can do in advance, even if it's like yep. while I'm doing something else, oh crap, I got to come up with a teaching topic, um, yep. is going to be beneficial. And then we can take it from there. And if you just starting place, see our video on great coaching topics that may give you some inspiration. It's um, coming out after this one. Indeed. Uh, in the future. Um, so uh, one of the things that really kind of blindsided me and I knew immediately I couldn't coach around it was addiction. Somebody said, I need to smoke less. And I said, okay, so we'd like to hire a therapist who knows about that. Cause not me. Like, like there, there are many things like even, even, uh, we talk about this later, um, things that are related to other people's behavior. Sometimes it's like, do you want to coach around how to bring this up with this person? But addictions, hard stuff. I don't know enough about addictions. I, like I, I haven't gone to school for it. I'm not trained. That's not anything to add, Brittany. Uh, yeah, some mild bad habits. Like we can totally strategize around that. We can strategize lifestyle changes you want to make yes. when you are going to someone else who that is their specialty for the actual addiction part. If we're talking about like, I need to use my phone less and it's because there's like unhealthy habits, unhealthy habits. And then there's a threshold past which it is in addiction territory. Yes. And you don't always know it right at first, right? Yes. yes. Um, and the unhealthy habits will totally help with. If we feel like it is beyond our scope, we'll just let you know. 
Absolutely. Yeah. And somebody who has a very serious addiction, it will hamper other coaching topics. Um, just, yeah. just straight up, there are definitely coaches who will not work with somebody who has an addiction at all. Um, yes. Or they'll work with other topics, but but beware that it will slow down all progress because it it uses up a lot of those parts of our brain that we already didn't have in great enough supply. It, Absolutely. Not, yeah. Yeah. Um, so uh, romantic relationships. Thoughts, Brittany? Oh, please, no. No. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I have had somebody try to use me as a... A, a marriage therapist once and I can't tell you how unqualified I am to do that. Um, yeah. That doesn't mean that there aren't aspects of your relationship that could and probably will change and improve with ADHD coaching um, because, you know, trying to overcommit to people because we want to be able to do all those things for them and then we take on too yeah. much and, and then our partner can't believe us anymore because we never seem to do the things we promise. Like adjusting that so that that, because we do the same thing to a boss, right? Um, yeah. So adjusting those expectations and commitments over yes. time and figuring out how to follow through on the things that we promised a partner, those things are totally coaching topics. Yeah. But that is about the ADHD. <laughs> yeah. It's about, it's about, about the, the client, that one person, not the yeah. interaction. Yeah. And the interaction. And this, this, uh, this gets to another uh, aspect, which is you cannot coach someone who's not there. So especially if somebody is coming to a coach and mm. saying, oh, my relationship, blah, blah, blah. If the other person's not there, you do not have the, I mean, I, I don't even think that marriage, marriage counselors or therapists would be able to work with a couple. If only one of them's there. That just is a non -starter. Right. So, and, and really very related is another one of, I need so-and-so other person to do something. Yeah. There are, there are some things we could do to smooth over those but in general like i'm not their coach and even if i yes. were that would need to be their coaching topic for me to tackle it yes absolutely yeah yeah but there for are sure. things like oh okay i can phrase this email so that it is easier we can strategize that so it is easier for yeah. the other person to reply to and therefore they're more likely to reply to me that yeah. is a thing we can do but yeah. it's always make other people reply to emails control. not yeah. so much yeah <laughs> absolutely um, another one is, uh, I am determined to stick to something that fundamentally undermines me in some major way, but I expect myself to still find tips and strategies that will make this happen. And there are, oh, it's a wide, that's a very specific sentence for a wide variety of things, such as, I don't want to study this at college. My parents expect me to, I, I hate this industry that I'm in, but the money is very good you know, um, major life often, major life things that, um, you know, that they're just like, or even, even a relationship. I haven't run across that, but like, I'm, I'm determined to say this romantic relationship. I, I want, but, yeah. I want to feel motivated to do something that I am not motivated to do. Yes. Whew. I want to make myself love doing this thing that I hate. ADHD yep. or no, that's going to be a tough thing to do. Yes. ADHD just makes it more difficult. Yes. There are some temporary things you can do to create incentive and make something more accomplishable along the way, but those are temporary. You like the thing that I'll try to be all coachy about, but I really am screaming inside is if you hate the law, please let's not study the law and save you like six years of agony before you finally have to quit it. And like, hundreds of thousands of dollars of student debt. Right. Exactly. Like, we, we cannot make you love something that you hate. We yeah. can sure strategize together ways to do something different. Or how do I tell my parents that I'm not going to study the law? Those yep. are coaching topics. <laughs> yes. And to be clear, nothing is perfect, right? Like, like J Brittany and I love our jobs. And do we love 100% of our jobs? No, nobody ever will. But it's about the fundamentals, the fundamentals of working with clients and, and the structure of the meetings and all that stuff. That all works for us. And that has to be the underlying foundation over which we strategize the minor things that are not perfect, right? It's the fundamentals. That really is, you know, the case. Um, speaking of fundamentals, another aspect that I have a lot more think, I don't want to put words in your mouth, a little more education on than Brittany does is trauma. And this is a misunderstood topic. And there are way more variations than a lot of people think. But regardless, if you are just, if you are just triggered, if you just have a really intense reaction where 
you do not have control of your logic in that moment repeatedly and consistently around something if you want to call it trauma or not if you have that reaction that topic is not coachable for you i am that way about money budgeting money management impulsive spending these are all amazing coaching topics for a lot of people i coach on them all the time i personally call lean i need a therapist for that stuff because i have money trauma Brittany, thoughts yeah trauma's hard and and i can acknowledge it but if it's impacting somebody too much we may even recommend pausing coaching while it's being dealt with yeah, um, if, if we're not seeing progress, right? Because we don't mm -hmm. want somebody to keep showing up and keep paying money when they're not making progress. Yes. Um, it's not doing a kindness to anyone. Helping yep. you find a therapist again, great for that. Yep. Uh, Which can be really but, hard. And and if the tra if you just but there are people. It's not that I don't coach people with trauma. I absolutely do. We just that's not the topic. Yes. We're talking we're talking about a different topic and how do we work around it? And sometimes yep. that is one of the factors we have to work around. Yeah. <laughs> Yep, I am very coachable on many things, just not money. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What else, Brittany? Um, so, uh, um, we alluded to this earlier. Trying to fundamentally be someone you are not. So we talked about not wanting to do something fundamentally, but like, I want to be different, a completely different person. Okay. Um, I yeah. want to, like, I want my brain to just not work this way anymore. I can help you work with your brain. I can help you mold yeah. your environment to be a better fit for your brain. Fundamental brain changing, not so much. Yep. And, and sometimes, like, well, not sometimes. I've never had anyone ask me that in those words. But the way that some sometimes we go about things, like, I suddenly want to study the law or I, you know, I, I need to, yeah. I can think of it, but, but often it was like, I, I will suss out that in the coaching topic that's being brought, it's not that I want to apply things. It's that fundamentally I need to change in order to accommodate this situation or whatever. And, that, and no, no. Nope. And a, a related one is I want to be able to do this thing on my own. Oh, yes. We can talk about ways to do that thing. And it's going to involve using a strategy. It's going to involve using some tools yeah. probably. Yeah. And, and if somebody says, no, I only want to do it on my own without those things, that's what we've been trying and it wasn't working. Yeah. And, 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 and so, fundamentally that's what coaching is. If you could it do is. it on your own, you would be. And so this is the way to figure out what, what needs to be added to the equation to make progress happen. Right. And, and I've had folks that like, so we strategize, you know, I want to get to campus on time to park. Okay. We need to find an incentive to get to campus on time. Okay, yeah. well, I want to do it without the tricks. That's so funny. Some people are like, hey, give me all the tips and tricks. And people are like, well, I don't want the tricks. <laughs> well, you know, it's um, funny how it's in the middle. Working is a great way to, to yes. work on something that we're like really struggling to face on our own and yep. or have the, the structure to work on on our own. And without that, like, okay, it's, it's really hard. But if somebody says, no, I want to be able to do it on my own without that. Do, do you care more about getting the thing? Like if somebody is unwilling to use tools, unable is a different story, but unwilling to use tools, I don't know how to work with that. Like that will work for me, but fundamentally I disagree with the idea of using tools. So I don't right. want to use tools yeah, it's at It's different all. from that particular tool isn't a good fit. Yes. That's fine. Let's find yeah. one that is, but saying yeah. I want to be able to do it without additional tools. Yeah. Do you care more about that feeling of sort of false autonomy or do you care about getting this stuff done? Yeah. Like, cause yep. it's a certain point you have to pick. Yeah, absolutely. Um, another one, which is kind of related to the romantic relationships is how do I get somebody else to change their behavior? Can't, 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 can't. I'm pretty sure even therapists, you know, even like people who have more training and more psychological knowledge than we do would say the same. Like you, again, they, they, they drove this into my head. You cannot coach somebody who's not there. And fundamentally, like I, I have come up with this phrase that I'm rather proud of. Uh, the, the, the number of people you control never exceeds one. Sometimes we lose control of ourselves. That's fine, but you will never have control over somebody else. And anything else approaching that topic is kind of manipulation. And no to that. Um, 
Uh, I want to get all of the things done and not make any choices about stuff they to drop. Ooh, I feel has right it, in my chest. If it, if it hasn't been working already, something's got to give. Yep. And it could be like, you know, being so hard on yourself and being a lot more accepting. But, you know, there, there's limits to what can happen. And, yep. and if somebody wants to do all the things and isn't willing to give up any of them, I, I can work with somebody on making those choices. But if they don't want to make the choices, yep. I can't make time work differently. No. No. Or energy or, or like, you know, no. whatever. Any resource is limited and, and you, you can't make it. And I mean, it's, it's, it's interesting when it's a difference between I recognize that this all can't get done, but I want to do it anyway. Or no, 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 I absolutely can get it all done. Either of those is very problematic. And, and, and you know, time blindness, again, a great coaching topic, understanding that. But if you kind of work through it all and you're explaining to yourself and your coach, this is how it really is. And yet you still say, no, 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 I still can't get it all done. And you're saying it out loud and you're, you're trying to believe it actively. Like we, we say those things, like we're like, oh man, totally. I, I realize it's not true, and, but when we, yeah. Hmm? And I mean, I want to be clear, like, again, it doesn't mean don't bring these up at all, but adjust your expectations. I yes. hope Colleen doesn't mind me saying this and we'll edit it if she does. Um, Colleen brought a coaching topic that was like, there is nothing to cut in my day because it was client meetings, right? Like this is very concrete, like this is what's happening yeah. and other thing wasn't happening. There wasn't a lot of give there, but it doesn't mean it wasn't a coaching topic. And what ended up happening was realizing that there was a way that she could get her day started faster. She was already awake and get the day started faster by adjusting this one routine. And then it turned out her kid loved the routine and it was a smashing success for everyone. And it didn't involve dropping one of those tasks. It involved some other shift that wasn't able to be seen in that case. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but saying, well, no, I won't change that morning routine either. We would have been stuck, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That is to give some. The yeah, give has to happen good. and figuring out like where can it happen? Yeah. And, you know, uh, prioritization is one of those huge scary words for almost anybody. ADHD, it's like, I don't know what to prioritize, but, uh, but then it's like all of these are top priority understandable but you have to understand that sometimes if you're saying to your coach how do i fit all of this into this container the answer is you will not and that's not a judgment on anybody it's just the reality it's one of my clients loves to say she says every single session she says because that's how time works i'm i'm this number of decades old and i'm still learning that that's how time works over and again so <laughs> yeah um uh, Can oh, I really here's a, no, you go ahead. Yeah. Oh, it, it's related to my favorite book quote, which I just had the author sign into a copy of <gasps> one of her books, which is necessary does not mean possible. Mm. It yep. may all be very, very necessary. And that doesn't mean we don't still have to cut something. Yeah. Yep. Absolutely. Okay. You're the one. Um, Anything that you've lost hope on or believe fundamentally that cannot be changed or that you've given up on, right? Um, if, if, if you don't have any drive or any, any, I mean, you, you can be feeling somewhat hopeless, somewhat defeated, somewhat, but if mm -hmm. you feel entirely that way, it's just like, well, okay, give me what you got. If you have that sort of vibe going on, Again, don't not bring it, but it's really hard to and engage There's a chance we may just be referring, like we may say, this is what, we'll give it a shot, but like this really does sound like it has reached therapy levels to the point yes. where maybe coaching is not the best tool. Um, yes. It also, if you're feeling that way intensely enough, might be a sign of larger depression, in which case, yes. again, we're going to recommend you go talk to a doctor, talk to a therapist, that kind of stuff. Yep. Yep. Um, one final thought I have before we wrap this up, it's not a, it's not a, um, it's not a coaching topic per se, but it's just like a general vibe for coaching. Um, my, uh, uh, famously in, in, I've heard many people talk about this, uh, 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 
the younger someone is, I don't just mean years, but in like even in diagnoses or, or understanding, um, the more likely you are to hear I don't know in response to coaching questions. And I don't know is not fundamentally bad if you genuinely feel that way. But the more things in your life that contribute to you not being able to answer questions or to the answer being no more frequently and not having it spark the next idea. If you mm. just are in that mode, that can often be depression, uh, whatever it may be, um, but it may you may not be ready for coaching if that's the case, because coaching is fundamentally a collaborative process. It's not just, I put a quarter in, I pull the handle and a, a tips and tricks comes out. Uh, it has to be, I am, I am exploring this with my coach and I have ideas and I have perspective and so do they, right? It's not like we're just sitting there going, well, you solve your own problems, hopefully, but, um, it's, it's definitely not a, um, well, solve my problem sits back in the hot tub. There you go. Yeah. And again, we have had successful coaching topics that started with a spark of all of these. Yes. But. We just want to have you adjust your expectations so that we can all make progress together and make this a really, really good collaborative process. Yes. All right. Until next time well, with our coaching topics to bring. Yep. See you later. Bye.